The 2020 Riverside County Point in Time Count, an annual survey of homelessness conducted January 29th, found 2,884 people experiencing homelessness in the county, a 3% increase from 2019. The amount of homeless people has been rising each year and many are still wondering what can be done about it. Many of the homeless people in the Riverside area congregate in the Santa Ana River Bottom. One woman who lives there asked that the city help them with their basic needs. Um, first of all, open up a road so we can get in and out of here correctly. Um, and uh, keep the water on for us, you know, just allow us to have somewhere to live. We're all homeless and nowhere to go. Chuck Gross, an elderly man who has lived in the streets of downtown Riverside for the last two years, said the city is helping, but he is skeptical of all the construction going on downtown while people continue to sleep outside. Yeah, they, they're helping. Yeah. But they should build buildings and support at home. Up for, you know, homeless. But no, they ain't doing that. They're putting up laws for people to rent. Yeah. Security at the Main Street walkway off of Mission and Avenue are tasked with keeping homeless people out of the shopping and dining area. But the guards and shoppers agreed that housing and services and humane treatment should be the approach to tackling homelessness in Riverside. Every day, that's like, oh my God, it really is pretty much. That's uh, telling them they can't sit here, or they can't look through the trash cans, or stop asking people for money, and it's like, uh, if it wasn't for the homeless people, my job would be pretty easy, dude, but at the same time, it's not their fault either. It's, uh, it's drug addiction and people just don't have family or resources. A lot of people don't have family and stuff like that, but we have to deal with all the people all the time, brother. Yeah. It's, um, if I wasn't on the clock, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell them anything, but my job is to, you know, make this place free of homeless people. The city should do is, uh... Gavin? I mean, in the, in the county of Riverside, there's a lot of land that's like undeveloped, unlike LA County. I think maybe if, if, uh, if the local people that actually are part of society um, have issues with the homeless people, maybe they can make like a, like, like a lot or a field, a field that, uh, like a piece of land that the homeless can go to and put up tents or uh, little makeshift shelters and that, that is illegal, that no one will, no one will, um, so they can get out of the city and out of the, out of sight, out of mind type of thing, you know what I mean? It has gotten out of hand. I think the city should provide some sort of home where they can go and get treatment if they need it. They can take a shower, they can have like some sort of job training program, because a lot of times, not every homeless person that you see out there is a drug addict. Sometimes they fell on hard times, maybe they lost their job and they can't afford their rent anymore, so they're out on the street. They're humans just like us and sometimes they just need help. So I think that maybe some sort of home that's specifically for them to get the help that they need so they can get back on their feet. Riverside has developed its own skid row area on the 1900 block of Massachusetts Avenue between Chicago and Kansas Avenues. The street is full of tents on both sides and resembles the homelessness crisis of downtown Los Angeles. But even as homelessness continues to increase in Riverside, Abby Stevens plans for the future. My plans are, I actually live down here in my RV. My RV, yes, is mine and not stolen, unlike lots of things down here, but they're having a problem with really keeping that issue. But yeah, I want to uh, be able to register my RV and put it somewhere in a mobile home park or something if I can afford it. I'm disabled, so I can't really work. For RCC Viewpoints, this has been Eric Galicia.